I can only handle some general type of questions. I have here uh, Rajesh Kusharkar with me who may be able to handle uh, some technical questions. I am going to try out 1, 2, 3, 4, a nice number to remember Meghanath Saha Institute of Technology. You are conducting the quiz using the clicker software. We want to arrange our own quiz in our classroom, then how can we do that? Yeah, if you want to conduct your own quiz in your classroom, we are going to distribute uh, one more uh, file just like the clicker uh, remote center file what we have uploaded. Yeah, we are going to upload one more file uh, which will be a full fledged clicker software in which you will be, uh, you will be able to conduct uh, questions, conduct quizzes and and gather the information at your end. Sir, uh, I have a question that we are conducting a questionnaire like this uh, using Moodle since last uh, three to four years, then what is the difference between clicker and the Moodle? Just the way Moodle has two parts, the teacher sets up the quiz and then within a deadline the student fills up the answers, right. Uh, in a clicker, the whole thing is almost online quickly. In Moodle, if you have say 100 students in your class, you do not expect all of them to solve the quiz in say a few minutes. Whereas a clicker is not for a questionnaire which has maybe 5 or 6 questions. Clickers are essentially used for maybe 1 question, 2 questions, 3 questions at a time. In principle, you can use clicker for a big questionnaire of 30 questions, but that that is not really the uh, require or that is not really the use of clicker. The use of clicker is after explaining something, I want to know to what extent the students have appreciated it and student have correctly absorbed it. To get that quick feedback, we use clicker okay? or a very small problem for which the student may take just 30 seconds on a calculator and feed in a value or select one of four values. Okay, that is clicker, but if you want to solve the students to solve a problem which requires multiple steps, then naturally clicker is not the solution for it. For that you have to have Moodle. Similarly, if you want to have an answer where the student has to write a sentence or two, then I do not think at present you have a text box in clicker, right. They have a text box in clicker, but then remember that that text box will be filled up in 100 different ways by 100 different students and how will you summarize it unless you spend maybe 10, 15 minutes going through those 100 sentences. So although I am told that in clicker that thing is available, you may use it. In a, in a way perhaps clicker is a slightly different version of Moodle, but Moodle is a big thing which works on a server and individuals can log in. The clicker is essentially online feedback for quick assessment of the determination of whether what you have taught is absorbed and appreciated by the students or not. 1244 Archana College of Engineering, Kerala. Uh, we have a problem. We set up our Agash server and clicker software successfully, but we cannot able to establish connection with the server and tablet at this time. We need some technical support from your part. It was a clear instructions given. Uh, about how to install the clicker software, the PPTs were also present given and uh, the PDF has also been uploaded on the Moodle side. We have observed the tablets not getting connected to the server what you have installed instead of uh, you are getting some errors is because of the two files which have been all uh, we have conducted a small AVU session yesterday and mentioned it clearly how to resolve that issues. There are two things, remote clicker dot PHP. This is the file is supposed to be there copied with sudo cp remote clicker dot PHP to slash var slash www. Either this file is not copied properly or if that this file is copied properly, the second problem was uh, PHP file hyphen mysql dot dev file has been not installed on your server. If these two files are there, Installed properly, the clicker uh, Akash tablets gets connected to the clicker software properly. There is no issue at all. 1043 Sarvajanik COE T Surat. Basically, I have a two question. Number one, 
the dr fatak has shown one uh, uh, live uh, sd card uh, uh, ubuntu uh, is it possible to upload on a moodle number 1 second uh, clicker application uh, if uh, is it possible to install on ordinary ubuntu operating system which runs on a desktop is there any version so uh, even if we don't have a tablet we can directly uh, put that application on our desktop and uh, can start interacting even though tablets we don't have thank you over and out i'll answer for the second question uh, yes definitely uh, you can install the clicker software on the regular desktops also but the ease what is there in the classroom each classroom will not going to have the desktops with them so uh, that's why we have uh, uh, made the application on the tablets so that the tablets is a mobile device can be carried and the quizzes can be conducted live and be uh, the results can be uh, collected properly to the servers and this server it doesn't mean ki it requires a very high end server the clicker software can be installed on a regular desktop also okay about your uh, rejoinder to what uh, uh, mr kushalkar told you just now perhaps clicker it's a software so there is no reason why it cannot be compiled and a version made available for a desktop but i see there are a number of centers not yours but there are other centers which i have seen and i have visited where uh, the capacity is about 50 to 70 and each participant has a Uh, you know a pc or a laptop in front of uh, him or her now in that case uh, well perhaps moodle itself will work there is no need for a clicker because everybody has a proper desktop or a laptop access point so people can be logged on to moodle and the moodle will essentially do the job of a clicker clicker is to be used in an environment like the environment where you have and where less than 1 square meter is the footprint available for everyone so Uh, people will have some clicker or some similar small device for example in your room if everybody has a laptop on his or her lap then there will be chaos all over okay. and then everybody will also start looking for plug points and connectivity and things like that uh, also remember that the emphasis of this project is currently purely on akash so although we are saying that we are developing things for android android on akash we are essentially developing it specifically for the akash platform of hardware and software hence anything which is developed will be specifically for that any clicker modification will currently will be for that once it settles then there is no reason why clicker and similar software will not be uh, you know kept open for other standard android devices and that's i think what professor fatak said in the morning that in principle it can be used but since all our effort is to see to it that this is properly installed and used by thousands and thousands of engineers i think he mentioned something like a lack of androids and maybe more in the next year or so so that is where all the effort will go now uh, about the linux the ubuntu linux it has we have successfully ported it and maybe uh, that has been confirmed only in the last few days maybe a week or so okay. and i talked i have my smartphone which is uh, android uh, 4.0 point something and the first thing i asked professor fatak uh, when he uh, when we went for chai uh, was a hey, can i take that chip and put it in the you know sd slot of my android uh, smartphone or laptop switch it off and switch it on will it boot uh, in ubuntu uh, he said no because that has been specifically made for the akash hardware there is no reason why again it cannot be modified for other androids but it will take effort to do that and currently our effort is specifically towards android our there is only one aim and that is the akash 2 android okay once that is settled 
we know how to do it and then other teams or even this team in its free time can port it to other Android tablets. Okay. And it is not as simple, it is not that I can take that SD card and uh, just copy the files. That SD card I am told has to be specifically burned because it has to be a bootable SD card. So, it is like creating if you have burnt a CD or a DVD, there is uh, you know a uh, check box make the CD bootable something like that I think will have to be done equivalent of that. Okay. So, just wait um, all our wishes will be uh, taken care of, but may not be in a matter of days it may take months for it. But thank you for this is the into we want because only such wishes will push the project forward and some more nice things will come out of it. Over. 1030 DOE ACC Srinagar, over to you. So, I have few questions. First is how do we set up proxy server settings in this because we connect through proxy server to the internet. So, can we set proxy server settings uh, uh, for the Wi-Fi uh, connectivity in this tablet? Yeah, the proxy server can be set up. In the settings, uh, the Wi-Fi settings, whatever, uh, whichever uh, the access point you are accessing, if you just press that uh, 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 for a button for two uh, seconds or something like that, one more uh, window will open saying modify network. So, when you go to modify network, then you can see a different options of setting up a DSCP or a static IP. Just below that also you can see the proxy settings. There you can enter the proxy IP address and you can continue the tablet using for the internet using proxy also. So my another question is, is there any way to connect to the internet uh, except for Wi-Fi like connecting through uh, Photon or any other USB dongles or GPRS? See, uh, what we have tried is was uh, with uh, MTNL what we have here and uh, this uh, Reliance, Reliance data card that we have tried. So, both the dongles are working. Yes, sir, the third, third question is, can we boot through other, uh, other bootable pen drives like if I use a bootable pen drive for Puppy Linux? Puppy Linux or anything has to be properly compiled for this particular Android, uh, not Android, uh, this ARM device. The tablet uh, contains a ARM chip, ARM 8 chip. It has to be compiled properly for that particular uh, device. Then only you are able to boot through these devices. As Sir has demonstrated for uh, this Ubuntu install, uh, install on the tablet also, the same thing we have to compile for the specifically for the Akash tablet. Uh. I appreciate that uh, with Android there is a proxy issue. Even if you set up, I find that for many Android devices, if you set up the system proxy, that proxy works seamlessly only for the uh, system browser. If you use any other thing, for example, a direct client to uh, go to Gmail or a direct uh, BBC news uh, app, that will not work. So. Uh, but you, I request, we have noted it down, but I request you to specifically ask this question on Moodle. So, a properly documented answer should come out in a uh, maybe a week's time or so. Okay, I will I'll hint to Mr. Kusharkar what is perhaps a possible solution or a direction to a possible solution. Thank you. Center 1247, School of Management Sciences. We have problem for installing clicker. Uh, this is the, uh, from your side, our local server is very well connected and we are able to uh, just load it clicker. But, but in 20, whatever we have received the tabs, uh, cast tab, we are not able to connect it. That is the problem from our side. So uh, we need your assistance in this. Basically, uh, the question what you have told, uh, the 20 tablets if you have installed the clicker software properly, then uh, check for the Wi-Fi connection. There are few issues that I have been uh, handling from the different centers that the tablets are not able to connect to Wi-Fi. So, instead of it showing the devices uh, connected on, Wi-Fi is on and when they try to uh, see 
the Wi-Fi list also, they are not able to see any access point or uh, the SSID names. So these are few technical issues uh, that uh, just now has been raised from few of the uh, institutions. So we are looking into it. I'd just like to suggest one thing is uh, try to connect, don't try to connect all the tablet at a time. Just try to connect one one tablet and see whether this thing is resolved for the Wi-Fi, whether it's a hardware issue or it's a some connection issues only. If these things are so, uh, two things, uh, you can at least able to judge if there is a hardware issue or not. 1289 Birla Institute of Engineering and Technology, Pilani, Rajasthan. Over to you. Is that uh, my work is related to MATLAB. So, uh, can you tell me that MATLAB if I install and if I run the program, so what will be the speed and all? Can you please give me a... I think your question is that you are a regular user of MATLAB and you want to know whether uh, question 1 is uh, whatever you do in MATLAB, will it work in Scilab? If that is the question, the answer is well, almost true. There are minor differences, but it is true that whatever you do in MATLAB or you are able to do in MATLAB, you are also able to do in Scilab. Maybe your MATLAB script may have to be modified slightly, that is about it. It is just like using another compiler for a, lang for a given language. You may have to, you, depending on the compiler, you may have to change a few statements or some few declarations. Uh, about the speed at which it runs, remember that Akash is a tablet. It has a single 1 gigahertz small processor. The processor is tuned to conserve battery. The processor is not tuned for great speed and performance. Okay. And it has only 502 megabytes of memory. Consequently, whatever software which runs on the clicker if a similar software is made to run on a standard laptop or a desktop, the comparison is not fair. Okay, you do not expect uh, the lightning speed or whatever speed you expect on a laptop to be uh, implemented and to be true for our Android. Android will work, but it may not be a Bailgadi compared to Frontier Mail, but it may be a passenger train compared to Frontier Mail. Over. I am trying 1249, Sri Ramakrishna Institute of Technology, Coimbatore, SRIT. Over to you. Professor, I am Dr. J. Abdul Samad, HOD of MCA department from Ramakrishna Institute of Technology. I want to know the computation facility like C, C++, Python and uh, Skylab is available in uh, this uh, tablet, whether Java is available Over to you. Java is at present not available. You should also understand, I think uh, because here also when I talk to uh, my colleagues and others, they tend to believe that Akash is a replacement for a laptop or a desktop. It is not. It is a small access, low cost, that means small in size, small in performance access come computation device that although computation device is included, computational capability is included as is demonstrated by the availability of the C, C++, Python and uh, uh, Scilab uh, platforms or compilers whatever you say. These are small things. When you are starting to learn Python, when you are starting to learn C or when you are doing some small work on Scilab. Well, Akash will do the job, but the moment your code in any language runs over a few screenfuls of Akash, that means maybe over 100 or 150 lines of code, it is going to be number one cumbersome to keep track and properly edit it because remember your Akash screen is just 7 inch in diagonal. So maybe some 15, 20 lines at a time you will see and you do not have great uh, facilities of cut space you know, search and substitute and uh, split screen and things like that. So, moment your program becomes big, it will be difficult to edit and keep track of it. So, uh, let me say that look, 
Akash is going to be something like a small bicycle for a kid. Initially, he starts with those two additional wheels at the back just to get used to it and be able to navigate around. And soon those wheels will have to come off and the bike will have to be given up for a bigger bike as the kid grows. So, similar thing is Akash. Akash will be good for access definitely, but for computation it has its limits. So, use it as a learning first few steps in computation. Once you go beyond that, you have to move to a desktop or a laptop. Remember that. So, although it may have a full fledged C, C plus and Python compiler, do not expect it to run or be able to, it may be able to do that, but it is not worth running a you know 500 line or a 1000 line C program on it. For that, you have to go to a proper machine. Over to you. This is Varun, assistant professor of mechanical engineering department of the SRIT. So, you told about the languages of computer science department. Shall we use any mechanical engineering oriented softwares in uh, that uh, tablet, sir? Like uh, SolidWorks, CATIA, ProE, like that? Wow to you, sir. See, uh, the softwares which uh, you use in mechanical engineering, you mentioned SolidWorks, ProE, uh, and there are other uh, ANSYS and CFD software like Fluent and all that. These are, these have two characteristics. They are compute heavy both from storage and computational point of view and they are also graphics heavy. And considering that you just have 1 gigahertz and 502 MB RAM, I think Akash is just not capable of doing this. Even if you, if somebody you know ports something like this, it will be a very restrictive port of uh, solid works or something. So, uh, for such things you better straight away go to a proper machine. Yes, but what uh, Mr. Kusharkar tells me is that uh, if there is an output file which is simply to be displayed as a series of frames or maybe as a uh, video or as a PDF file, then Akash can do it. But then it is a question of just displaying the result, not extracting or computing the result out. For example, in solid works, you can uh, take some uh, uh, design of something and maybe a wireframe and you can turn it any way you feel like as you change your mouse. That requires heavy computation and uh, I do not think you will be able to do it smoothly and well enough in Akash. 1221 APR Tamil Nadu, over to you. Uh, sir, good evening, sir. Uh, I am K. Rajesh Kumar from Department of Management Studies, NPR College of Engineering and Technology in Attam. So, first of all, I congratulate you all for this noble initiative, sir. I have two questions with me. So, first of all, ours is a group of institutions. We have around uh, five institutions in the same campus. I do understand that uh, this initiative uh, purely pertains only to students coming from engineering background. But suppose if we have some students uh, with a lot of noble initiatives, maybe from arts and science college or from a polytechnic college, may, uh, my question is, can some engineering students join with them and come out with some innovative projects? If that is the case, will you support us? And if, in case if you support us, what should be the maximum number of students in a team? And whether would you fund some innovative projects which comes with the social cause? So this is my first question, sir. And the second question is, we have a lot of committees and cells in our college. For example, uh, research and development cell, quality circle cell, entrepreneurship development cell. And we have other committees uh, which uh, has a lot of social initiative in them. And uh, in case if a cell comes with an innovative project, because uh, through our projects we are promoting uh, the launch of this uh, Akash uh, tablets. So in case if we have some innovative projects, would you provide the technical support? If any project is being initiated from uh, any one particular cell or a committee from our institution. So, these are the two questions which I have from my side, sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Nice questions. The questions, uh, as I understand, are first thing is yours is a cluster of institutions where maybe a few institution or one institution is related to engineering, the others are art, science may not be direct engineering. Okay. And the second one is 
uh, you have other uh, groups and committees uh, which do good work and whether they come up with some innovative ideas, whether uh, support to the Akash project or some similar project is available. See the Akash project and the NMEICT project at the way they are laid out today are for engineering education and that too essentially for the faculty members and students as controlled by faculty members in engineering. Okay. Students of engineering as controlled by faculty of engineering. Uh, now having said that, I agree that there are a number of engineering uh, projects and engineering ideas which cannot be completed or uh, brought to a proper conclusion unless there are contributions from non-engineering people. So, in an, so long as the whole thing is controlled by your engineering college, if in the team there are a student or two from a non-engineering background, there is no reason why that team should not be okay. But if you want something which is essentially from an arts college or a social science college, then I think you will have to talk to Professor Fatak because that then becomes a policy decision. The same thing is true for others, other innovative ideas. If that innovative idea is controlled by um, a team of engineering faculty and students, and I think there should not be any difficulty. But if that innovative idea is uh, not in the control of an engineering faculty, then it is not in the mainstream uh, mandate of uh, NMEI city and uh, uh, a policy decision will have to be taken by the top bosses of NMEI city beginning with Professor Fatak. Uh, may I request that you put this up on Moodle, so that it, uh, it gets registered properly and whatever is the decision is made uh, known to everyone else. Thank you. Over. Ajish Kumar, uh, uh, Department of Physics. So, sir, uh, can you access your library, digital library through Akos tablets? If it is available, it is very useful for our students. They can refer many books by using Akos tablets. Over to you. See, uh, Akash tablet and the access through Akash tablet is nothing specific for IIT Bombay or for any particular institute. Okay, so, uh, Akash tablet has a browser, if through the Wi-Fi you connect it to the internet, then like any other machine which has a browser and which is connected to the internet, it is connected to the internet and it will be able to access within its capability of small screen and that processing power, any digital content which is available on the internet and which is accessible from other machines. Uh, whether you will get access to a particular library and a particular uh, you know cache or a set of digital contents depends on the policy of that each institute. I cannot say whether uh, a particular digital content will be available through Akash and specifically through Akash. There is nothing special about Akash. Over. Sir, I am Kannadasan, remote center coordinator sir. Uh, is there any time frame for the delivery of the Akash tablet? Because our uh, faculty members are totally disappointed with the delivery of this uh, small quantity, 20 numbers. <laughs> yeah. They feel uh, unhappy with that one. Yeah, what I am told is that the uh, we appreciate that the 20 number is small, but that number we could decide, we had to decide based on the capacity of the pipeline at the rate at which and the rate at which the shipments are arrived. So, uh, we cannot promise that you, even your first 20 tablets will reach. I am not talking of your center. I do not know how many have reached. But there have been cases where there are two centers within um, a kilometer of each other. One has received its packet of 20, the other has not received anything. So, you just have to wait, but slowly but surely your uh, this 20 and the total uh, I think hundreds are promised, right? That 100 will come per center. And then depending on the way things progress, I think Professor Fatak has agreed to supply some more. Okay. Uh, this, uh, you know, supplying, uh, just imagine that uh, a special thing like this is to be sent to something like uh, 250 centers within a matter of days. The, although the logistics have been set up, I think, reasonably well, but it is the the uh, if you are working in networks, you know the max flow min cut theorem. The min cut is somewhere, and we don't have 
much of a control over that. So, whatever is coming through that cut, we are uh, providing. Sir, I am Julie from the CSE department. I have one question. Uh, using clicker software, we can communicate uh, uh, more tablets with the local server. Is it possible to communicate two tablets? Is there any application available or it yet to be developed? If it is yet to be developed, uh, we can, if we can get any help from IIT Bombay. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, we are on the uh, verge of developing tablet to tablet communication for uh, the clicker also. Presently, as you can see, clicker is uh, communicating to a server. But and uh, there is a hardware requirement of a server, there is a hardware requirement for access points and all these things. We are also trying to develop uh, a system where a teacher is also carrying a tablet and students are also having a tablet with them and they are communicating to each other peer to peer network. So there is no need of extra hardware, but that all things are uh, still under development and uh, definitely all the development will be released in open source for the future. 1269 IERCM Manipur, over to you. My question is from uh, hardware related things. That is, uh, why the capacitive touch screen is used here in this tablet despite the resistive touch screen being more sensitive and economical? This is my first question. And next question is, uh, can an ADSL USB modem be used to set up an internet connection uh, in the Akash tablet? And the third question and the last question is, uh, is there any secondary storage device there like in hard drive except uh, SD card or pen drive in this tablet? Over to you. Professor Fatak is here, so I am passing on the That's stage okay. to him. Uh, good questions and interesting questions. Uh, the resistive touch screen and capacitive touch screen debate is very old. By the way, universally, uh, what you say is not considered correct. For the ordinary users, the touch uh, feeling and the touch usage is found much easier with the capacitive touch screen. Resistive touch screens, good quality resistive touch screens are used whenever you want to write with a stylus on them. Whereas capacitive touch screens are to be used with your hand movement. And the hand movement is considered far more effective and easy with the capacitive touch screen. As a matter of fact, I remember we spent about two hours in negotiating the capacitive touch screen. Uh, this is the uh, answer to the first question. Uh, the second question was, uh, can you connect a hard drive just like you can connect a USB or SD card? The answer is no. This particular chip which is used, the Alvinar chip which works at 1 gigahertz. And as a matter of fact, most of the tablet chips do not provide a direct interface to hard disk drive. The hard disk drive interfaces are available, but they are available with some additional circuitry, which is not in the realm of the budget for this kind of tablet. Uh, we have tried ADSL dongles, which, you, which come, the Wi-Fi dongles which come, 2G, 3G dongles, which go to USB port. Uh, some of them work well. However, the objective of this tablet is not that. Eventual Akash 3, Akash 4 may even have a 3G connection through GPRS. So when we have that, you will have a SIM card slot uh, and you can use that SIM card slot to connect. However, presently, anything which works with a USB port, uh, you can find out we will be attempting to connect the conventional uh, Tata and uh, Reliance uh, dongles which come for the 2G and 3G connections and if we are able to resolve the problem, we will inform on the Moodle to everyone that this is the setting that you need to do. We believe those dongles can be connected, but there is no SIM card. Uh, can a mathematical expression may be uh, written uh, in this tablet in the docs file? Uh, we, uh, you see, when you say docx file, you are talking about high-end word processing. Generally, the high-end word processing is done through the word pro yeah, the word processors which you use conventionally on the desktops are typically not available on tablets. Please remember, 
this is the lowest end of a computer. However, if you wait for some time, when our Linux installation is completely successful, the entire open office suit will work and we will also provide LaTeX on top of Linux. With LaTeX, you can compose all kinds of formulae uh, without any problems. So, you will have to just wait till this development takes place, but good point that you make. This is what many engineers will be using. Thank you very much. I have one question. Uh, okay, first of all, let me introduce. I am Professor P. R. Bandhupadhyay of IRCM Institute of Information Technology, Banipur. Now, we belong to a big group of Techno India, where we have a more than a dozen engineering colleges. Now, uh, there is a concept of uh, nodal centers. Uh, I think 10 nodal centers uh, will be created uh, in future, apart from additional hub in Kharagpur IIT. So, I would like to know what is the criteria for becoming a nodal center? Over to you. I will be writing to all the Akash coordinators about the no, notion of nodal centers, but these nodal centers are not being set up from the point of view of Akash project alone. They are being set up actually to support our large scale workshop conduct. Now, the objective of a nodal center is that they themselves are primarily equipped to conduct workshops like this, which means they must have faculty members across multiple disciplines, not only in one or two disciplines. Secondly, they should have a strong established R&D culture. Essentially, we are looking at institutions like IIT themselves or institutions which will very quickly come up to those standards. The second restriction put by the government is because there is a large outlay of fund, uh, while we can support some funding to all remote centers, but the nodal centers have to be only government funded institutions. Nodal centers in our scheme at least cannot be any institutions other than fully government funded institutions. However, I will put it like this, it is absolutely open to every remote center such as yours when you have a group of these institutions that you can establish an AVU server yourself and start beaming your own courses to other institutions of your own group and maybe even to the other places. What I envisage is that over the coming years, each engineering college would become some kind of a nodal center providing educational support to other institutes of higher learning and even to the schools. So to conclude, nodal center in the workshop scheme of IIT Bombay I am afraid they will be limited to only 8 or 10 chosen institutions which will all be government institutions. Most probably these will be NITs, maybe even some of the IITs and maybe some institutions which are there which have uh, faculty in almost all the major disciplines and have a research culture. But other than that what you are asking is, is very correct and we would encourage you to think like that.